Hello one and all, welcome to a Galaxy Man Show live Instagram. Uh, so today, um, for my guest uh, on my show, uh, on the Galaxy Man Show, is known as Dade Alza, who is actually uh, going to be playing Fred in Mystery Incorporated, so I'm going to invite Dade on to uh, the live now, and yeah, talk. Hey, hey what's hey, Dade? Nothing much. How, how are you, how's things? Things are awesome. As good awesome. as could be expected during this quarantine time. How are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, pretty good, I guess. Like, Australia's coping well, um, and things are just keeping positive and stuff. So, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. That's awesome. What part of Australia are you from? Um, Brisbane. Mm, okay. Very nice. Yeah. Whereabouts are you from, if I may ask? Uh, I'm from Fort Worth, Texas, but I live in Los Angeles, California. Oh, nice. How are things going there, by the way? In California? Yeah. Uh, they're all right. Uh, we're still shelter in place orders, but um, everything's going smoothly. Uh, our governor has taken everything uh, one day at a time, and hopefully soon we'll be up and running and we'll get to uh, start production on the pilot episode of Mystery Incorporated. Awesome. Well, I'll get into the questions uh, now for you. Um, so, with my first question about Mystery Incorporated, what can people expect? to see in mystery incorporated and what like what, would you like would you want to see cameos uh, appear from like the old like like the other live action scooby-doo gang oh i would love that that would be amazing um i know that uh matthew lillard uh tweeted back at us that he saw the trailer and he enjoyed it um it'd be a dream come true to have him freddie prince jr sarah michelle geller linda carlini uh not only that, it would also be a dream to have like Frank Welker and like Greg Delisle, uh, who did the voice uh, of the cartoons. They would be awesome to have as well. And so um, really trying to uh, leave things open in case something like that is possible. But uh, as of right now, who knows? Everything's up in the air. Awesome. Uh, can I just say congratulations on the Indiegogo reaching your goal? Thank um, you. Thank you, everyone. Work. Incredible work, by the way. Um, on, the, on the second question, who would be your favorite Scooby-Doo villain? Ooh, my favorite Scooby-Doo villain. Now, I, I don't know if this counts as, like, one, but, uh, like, Zombie Island is my favorite film. And so, uh, and Morgan Moonscar technically is not a villain. He's technically, you know, if you've seen the film, sorry, spoilers. Uh, but, um, ah, I think if we're going back to like uh, old school Scooby-Doo, where are you? Probably uh, the spooky space kook. He was always the one that kind of like terrified me as a kid. So I'd probably say he's my favorite. Nice. Uh, so for my third question, um, who, so what makes Mystery Incorporated different from like Riverdale or Buffy the Vampire? Uh, we've actually been watching a lot of Buffy uh, here lately in our quarantine, but um, I think uh, what would make it different from Riverdale is really just uh, the fact that they are still like solving these crimes and dealing with actual supernatural things. And so like demons, monsters, uh, things that you would see in Supernatural, like that show, are the things that they'll be dealing with in this show. But it will be a little bit of a parallel to something like Riverdale where you will see the gang in their everyday lives behind the scenes and get to know a little bit more about how they work as a person and the things that they deal with personally. Awesome. Uh, so for my next question, you've played numerous of, of different roles and characters uh, like Landon Tate in Shattered Past and Quill uh, at Disneyland and also now Captain America in X-Force. What are the experiences like playing those different roles and who would you say you relate to the most? Uh, well, I actually am Deadpool in the X-Force auditions as well. But um, I, I think Fred is who I would relate to the most, uh, especially because on a daily basis, when I wake up and start to get dressed, uh, my girlfriend Jessica, who plays Daphne, just looks at me sometimes and is like, y why are you dressed like Fred today? And it's just like my normal my normal clothes. Um, as far as like his tragedy and things like that, um, I definitely, I've been fortunate enough that I haven't dealt with that type of tragedy, but um, definitely like in the sense of uh, just being his being and like the Fred that you know from the cartoons, I feel like I vibe with that pretty, 
pretty close, especially the dumb moments. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say you're dumb. Like, I, I'd say you're like, more, <laughs> like, I don't know, like, with the Fred moments, like, with how Fred is, like, serious, I reckon you play a really cool, like, serious kind of dark kind of Fred. I could see, I could see you playing that kind of There's a lot of that. Uh, yeah. There's also, though, the good uh, Fred humor that we know and love from the cartoons. There's a little bit of that, uh, um, for the sake of a better term, like the blonde moments. Uh, there's some of those in there as well, or himbo moments that people have been saying on the uh, YouTube. Awesome. Uh, can I just say, by the way, with like the um, storytelling that you guys have been doing for kids um, in this COVID-19 situation, can I just say, um, you guys are doing such an incredible job doing that for um, <laughs> around the world and stuff. And yeah, it's you guys are truly inspirational. So thank you for doing that for every single person and kids around the world. So Absolutely, yeah. man. Thank you so much yeah. for watching it. Uh, we appreciate all the support we've been getting with that. Um, I, will be, I have a stack of books over here to my right uh, that I, we have yet to get through. So we'll uh, be getting through those soon, hopefully. Awesome. Uh, so for my next question, uh, what advice would you give someone uh, who wants to get into the acting in industry? I just do it. Um, I know that uh, there's a lot of fear and timidness that people experience uh, when they think about wanting to get in the acting industry. I know I did. Um, but some of the best advice that I've ever gotten is to just get out there and create. I mean, uh, it may not be as perfect as you want it to be the first time around, but you're gonna learn something. And the more that you learn and the more that you build upon your experiences, just the better it's going to be and the more that uh, you'll build up to a place that you want to be and become what you want to become. And just getting in it is the best way to get somewhere with it. Awesome. Uh, so for my next question, uh, what are the relationships going to be like with, like say between the bond between uh fred and shaggy and like the relationship between uh fred and daphne and like the bond between uh daphne and valma well uh without getting into spoiler territory uh they don't really know each other uh as of right now i mean they go to the same school they kind of know of one another but they've never run in the same circles and uh the recent events in coolsville is what's gonna change all that and uh we'll see how that affects everybody awesome uh so for my last question uh day um so basically uh for, with what i want to ask is um how in the acting industry with like the positives and negatives how do you get over the how how do you think you get over the negatives um when you're like say if you're in a negative mode or in the positive mode how do you get over those negatives in your opinion well, um, I think the biggest thing is to just keep moving forward. Uh, I know when I first moved out here, I heard no a lot. And uh, when you first get into acting and you first start going out to auditions, uh, very rarely do you hear yes right off the bat. A lot of times there is a lot of no's to get to a yes. I know uh, Mark Ruffalo, I think, said in an interview that he had like a couple hundred thousand no's before he finally got a yes. And look where he is now. And so... Um, I try and just think of every audition as a new opportunity to go into work and prove myself. And um, then as soon as I leave the room, I try and put it in the back of my head and just move on to the next. And it helps a lot to think of it as that being the job. Instead of going in to get the job, like you're going in and you got the audition and that's your job. So you go in and you perform the character as you would and then you're done with your job. And if they call and they want to play some more, sweet. Like, take the call, go in, play some more. But uh, I find that when I view it that way and um, when I leave the audition room, I'm like, I did what I came to do and I moved to the next one. It's a lot easier to deal with no's when you get no's. And a lot, and it's very fulfilling when you get yeses because it's like, oh, sweet. They want to play with me some more. So let's go play. Like, let's have some fun. Awesome. Well, can I just say thank you so much, Dave, for coming onto my show. Uh, Absolutely. So much. Um, everyone, definitely go support Mystery Incorporated uh, and the rest of the Mystery Incorporated cast. Uh, they're doing such an incredible job, and I just want to say you guys are doing 
truly amazing. So keep up the amazing work and definitely go support Mystery Incorporated. Welcome to Coolsville. Our town is a quaint and happy little town, blissfully ignorant to its own dark little secret. There are monsters. There's a logical explanation for all of this. Follow simple logic and scientific fact. False hierarchy of demons. Vampires? The black arts. Ghosts and monsters aren't real. be worth risking all of our lives. Fred, people are dying. You, you just want to run into danger head first, throw caution to the wind? Look at me. I'm not cut out for this. Welcome to Coolsville. I got us a ride. You're gonna have to drive though, man. 